Hi, welcome back to World Dish. I'm still with my friend Nora. At a British <laughs> festival, so I'm drinking tea. <laughs> it's quite, it's quite it's cold. It's not raining though, which yes. is yeah. it's kind of good for our festival season. <laughs> um, we're going to be making some more food. Yeah, we've already made something. We made a delicious uh, pasta pesto dish, which was so easy and so quick. So I'll definitely be trying that out at some festivals. And make sure you do check that out. I wanted to do something that was kind of referencing what you're seeing a lot in festivals at the moment. It's a halloumi dish. Cheese. It's it's my cheese. I love that everything involved on cheese for me. Laura's a cheese fan. I'm a cheese fan and halloumi is so cool. Yeah. It's the coolest of all the cheeses at the moment. <laughs> it's up there with kale. So I'm just going to be serving it with some tomatoes. Um, we've got, what do you grab both the tomatoes actually? Well, they've got like about 20 million different types of tomatoes here. All these tomatoes have different textures and flavours. And actually, would you grab me about four of those cherries there? So I'm gonna I'm gonna chop some of these up, different shapes. Now, Laura. Yes. Gizzy. You've given me this really oh. nice piece of jewellery. Would you spin well, it around? Because right. so my arms are flying all over the place. With festivals and music, and we're talking about like festival food, yeah. um, and I'm a bit of a, a festival jewellery girl as well, so I like to layer it up. So I've actually got a collection coming out for festival season. As far as I know, Laura, it couldn't be more you, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got like everything's based on a guitar pick. This is a quote from uh, one of my favourite songs. Um, as you make loving fun, Fleetwood Mac, who uh, headlined Isle of Wight last year. Did you? Were you there? I wasn't at that, but it was at the O2 gig. Yeah. Which I saw them twice. So, I'm just popping. I'm just chopping up these tomatoes. Now, the great thing about tomato and going to a festival yeah. is that you. They, they actually last better outside. Never put your tomatoes in the fridge. They sort of need to come to sort of um, room temperature. Okay. That means that they become sweeter. Yeah. They ripen properly. This is like the base of your salad. Really simple. That looks great. Um, I'm going to make a little dressing really quickly. Okay. Could you grab me both of the uh, herbs? Just to, yeah. Yeah, what sort of herbs are these? So we've got some mint yes. here. Yeah. I'm just going to take a, a few leaves off this. Most people don't think of putting um, tomatoes and mint together. It's a really good aroma we're putting yeah. them together. They, it brings it up and also mint and halloumi. And I've got another sort of interesting ingredient that we're going to be going for. Okay. But I'm just going to chop all this up. And what's that one here? This is some flat leaf parsley. You okay. could use coriander. Okay. Um, you can put basil in this as well, well if you want. I always think basil goes well with tomatoes. Because this is sort of like a salad. I don't really mind about you going too fine. This isn't like, we're not trying to make a pesto here. We're making yeah. sort of a, a herb dressing. So go as fine as, as you sort of fancy. Yeah. I'm going to put this into a bowl. OK. Um, and then we're going to put, can you grab me the lemon? Yes. We're just going to squeeze half of a lemon into here. Oh, okay. sorry, all over you. Be good going for, your, for the good pores, for your, actually. Yeah. Vitamin C. your hair later on. Lovely. And then salt and pepper, if you can put yes, quite, quite a good bit of salt in there. When you say a good bit, like... That's pathetic. OK. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's more like it, yeah. right? And then loads of pepper. Loads of pepper. Now, how much oil? Um, I'm actually yeah, going to go. I'm going to do that just to be me. safe. <laughs> and then delicious. It's just it's just to make sort of a dressing. You can give that yeah. a swizzle round with a spoon. Yeah, so that's looking great. Beautiful. I'm going to oh. season these tomatoes now. So okay. a bit more salt on there. Okay. More more salt. Yeah. Lovely. There we go. That's great. Is that enough? Yeah. Perfect. In that little. Um, jar there. It looks like maple syrup. It looks like, okay, so this is called pomegranate molasses. Have you tried this? It's before? really sticky, isn't it? It is it's really real. sticky. But if we let the tomatoes sort of sit for a while in this, it sort of breaks them down a little bit. Okay. And we're going to put some oil as if we're dressing a salad. People say I cook with too much oil, but I. Uh, Who are these people? They're crazy. I, I don't care because <laughs> I really believe that oil is actually very good for you. Then. Okay, what's next? Our final thing. Do you want to switch it yeah, on? Yeah, go on. Let's do this. It's teamwork. Perfect. It always, Easy. I feel like it's going to be like really I, menacing. I just feel like you don't isn't. trust me with names. <laughs> I don't know why. I trust you more than I trust me. Okay, so. Um, oil in here. Yeah. Will you pass me the halloumi? So that's what you want to have is that sizzle. Okay. So. Oops. Lovely. Okay. What you can see is that it's got like this, this sort of goo that's starting to ha like come at the end. Mm -hmm. And underneath that, that will be all caramelised. When it's properly caramelised, you'll be able to pull it up and flip it over and it won't get stuck to the pan. It will unstick itself. Okay. We're going to put this on top of our tomatoes. Our tomatoes. Or tomatoes if you're American and watching it. We're just going to pour this over now. So that's my super speedy festival vibe, um, tomato, pomegranate and halloumi salad.
Mmm. Mmm. There's so many different flavors. That's delicious. That's delicious. Delicious, delicious. Mm. It's so easy though. And we can really taste the molasses. You could if you wanted to, you could eat this with some um, grilled flatbread, some pita bread. Oh, and just like dip it in yeah. into the sauce if you did want some carbs. So if you want a specific method, then you just need to have a look in the box below. And we've actually done another recipe as well that you need to check out on Wild Dish, which is as good as this. So what we want you to do is subscribe. So yeah, just click right down here. Otherwise we'll see you we'll see you at the festivals. Mm -hmm. Take care. Bye. <laughs>